and it looks like it's going to have to be modified straight out of the packet, so it's what's unusual about that. Welcome back to Garage K. Uh, today I'm going to take you on a road trip. Heading up north into Tohoku to visit a very popular circuit you might recognize. And I've got, I don't know what that front car is, an S14. But then there's uh, two 86s, like A86s. And then we've got 86. We've got a Fit, which is weird. And then an Infiniti, Evo, R34, and then R32. We've got these sort of things. And then right at the back there, there's an R35. What? あの、カーボ。で、次のトップですね。さあ、このクラスターのカーボというところで行きますと、2番手は今、東方7番手。で、次に30、4番を出ます。これは、ポジションとして、R34で。R34の、これは、ポジションとして、R34で。で、あと、
Well, that's it for Sugo Circuit. Uh, back to our regular program. Take a good look at this uh, because I'm about to modify it. Despite the fact I said it was done. Boom, and that wing is gone off the side there. Also looking at cutting this angle off here. All right, I've trimmed all this off and glued on a tweeter pod um, and modified the back of the tweeter pod so that it fits nicely in the truck as close to the wall as possible. There it is. Now I'm just trying to figure out uh, what kind of lines I want to run with the putty and with fiberglass um, so that it's kind of blended in, not just a blob stuck on there. I'll also have to make a new backing for the uh, tweeter cup. See what happens when you stop filming for a while, you forget to film. Uh, what I'm using here is I'm using a cotton bug as a brush um, because I ran out of brushes and I'm too cheap to go buy more, so I'm giving this cotton bud a go. Seems to be working pretty damn well, um, surprisingly, or not surprisingly. I mean, it is basically a brush anyway, right? I live in this quiet little street, but it's actually a high traffic area because it's, uh, it's a shortcut. So I'm just getting these. hoping to get the basic shape but got a bit uh, excited and then attempted to do this back area here but uh, yeah that's no go. I'm out of resin it seems. See what I'm doing. That looks pretty good. This isn't structural, it's just, um, just uh, aesthetic. It's, um, I don't know, I think I'm going to call it the tumor tweeter. My, um, it's got a tumor. Try and get this. I'm not actually sure what you can see. It's very, I haven't filmed in a while, so I've kind of lost that uh, love and feeling, if you know what I mean. I 
don't know where the sweet spot for the camera is without checking. And as you can see, I'm a little bit busy to be checking. Now there's no resin in the front here, but um, that will soak in later. Later what? No, it won't. If I come back with some resin later, I can put some on there. I only mixed up five mils. Um, and I got pretty good coverage for five mils. I pretty much did everything I wanted to do. I just got a little bit ambitious here and it couldn't finish it. So I think um, next time I'll run another five mils and I'll get this area here covered up, which I don't actually have to do really. It's not um, imperative. It's, it's, it's a tweeter. It doesn't have, the sound doesn't come out the back. It doesn't need a sealed area. So, I mean, you can't see this side anyway because of the the pillar being here so I mean technically it's done now I'm not gonna leave it like this because hey well if you've yeah you know you know me I'm not going to just leave it it's got to be fucked with so yeah I think I think these this is a success I like the idea of these are good, you just use it once and throw it away. I mean, the, the cotton falling off's a bit shit, but I think maybe it's because these ones are crap ones. If you used a, a higher quality one, maybe it wouldn't fall to bits. Maybe it would, I don't know. I'm not going to buy high quality ones to figure it out. You do that and you let me know. You buy the expensive ones. And you tell me. Well, that's uh, pretty much... Pretty much exactly what I was going for, especially on the top here. Like, yeah, it's not a tumor, it is a tumor. The tumor tweeter. Now, you might be thinking that, uh oh, that's blocking the computer from getting in and out, and it does, but um, I made these holes at the back in here bigger, there and there, and that allows me to sort of wiggle it, maneuver it, you can get it past the tweeter. It's not as easy to get in as it was before, but um, it will do. The computer is not something I want uh, easily removed anyway. Because if it's easily removed, it's easily stolen. Then again, if you wanted to steal it, you just take this whole thing. Hmm. Anyway, that's uh, pretty good. Turned out pretty good. I don't know why I threw that in there. My God. There is more resin in here. There is. It's just can't get it out. Can I get this in here? Not really. That's a no. We're just going to leave it so that I don't, if I keep messing with it, I'll end up fucking it and then I'll be pissed and I'll be chasing, chasing my tail. So that's that, that's that done for now. I don't, uh oh, what have I done? Uh oh, I've got my resin on my fingers and then dragged it across the whole thing. Good thing the whole thing needs to be repainted again, otherwise I'd be pursed. Um, but I'll just repaint the whole thing, so it doesn't matter as much. I'm still a little bit pissed. But stuff like that is going to happen. It's always good to have a little bit of acetone around. What is acetone going to do to this? Nothing. Just clean it up. Two-pack, baby. That's why you want to use urethane two-pack. Rub some acetone on there. What's it done to it? Next to fuck all. So, yeah. If you're not using... Um, urethane paint on your interior panels, you should start, it is my recommendation, uh, because it's so hardy. If you did that with acrylic, you'd probably scratch it off. Granted that this is uh, fiberglass, not your regular plastics, but I find even with the plastics, the urethane sticks a lot better than um, enamel or acrylic. And I think the reason for that is that uh, urethane is kind of like, kind of like epoxy 
in that it's two part and it and it sets and it is its own it's it's sort of it's its own layer. It doesn't really does it sink in? I don't know. Maybe not. Maybe yes. But um because it's its own layer, it kind of sticks as if as as epoxy would. And you know epoxy sticks to fucking everything, so hey. But yeah, urethane two pack paint. I can get it in a spray bomb here, so that's what I do. Um, I'm looking into getting some for my spray gun, but uh, that's never an easy thing to do. You have to know a guy who knows a guy who's jerked off a guy. And um, I'm not into that sort of thing. Anyway, um, yeah, that's that. I need to, bit of clean up. Again, the acetone's worth more than all the uh, all the rags and all these containers. So sometimes it's better to just throw this shit away and not have acetone on hand. But I don't know. I'm kind of splurging, I guess you could say. I really need a lapel mic. But I need something wireless. I don't want to. I don't want a wired lapel mic going from here all the way across the floor and to the camera because you know I'm going to walk off and drag the fucking phone onto the floor and smash it. You know that's going to happen. I'm a big believer in Murphy's law, um, and that shit will go down. Right. Let's have another look at it. Fucking would you look at it? Would you just look at it? Oh, have a look at it. Oh, yeah. I have a headache. It might be a tumor. It's not a tumor. Sweet. 13 minutes of me doing that. That's like, that's like a whole video if I don't cut it. Blam. That's it for this episode, guys. Thanks very much for watching. Thanks for sticking with me through 18 minutes um, of footage. I wanted to get all that out there, and I found it entertaining to watch the whole lot, so I thought I'd just leave it like that. Um, filming wasn't so good in this one, uh, but I'm a bit out of practice. Anyway, catch you in the next video. Like, subscribe, do all that. Later.